a new suspect. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, second condition, third Done. Now I can proceed further. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible! A touch of chemistry, nothing special. 
Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. I'm not saying another word. These are the suspect's belongings. A pen? Nothing. How is the investigation going, Mr. Rose? Do you have any idea who the... My analysis table. It is useful for my work. My archive. I... This is where I keep my post.
Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you, madam. Who could do so? Locked. The murder weapon was probably taken from this... The initials PC have been crudely bad. I'm not saying. Mr. Holmes? These are the suspect's belongings. I wonder if these are connected. Have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however.
please escort this suspect for interrogation? Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I... I was trying to find some information about my father. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young... I'm not saying... I was... These are the suspect's belongings. A handkerchief with the initials J. H. N. These are the suspect's belongings. A pocket. These are the suspect's belongings. A new suspect. My analysis table. This is where I keep my post.
What am I doing here? Who could do such a thing? Rum, a sailor's drink. Hmm, this aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture.
This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. My archive. I can. My arch. My archive. I can always cons. This is where I keep my post. A map of London and. A new suspect. My analysis. How is the investigation?
Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Thank you, madam. Locked. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. the tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box or a small chest, perhaps. Dundee.
Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. Who could do so? At your service, Mr. How is the investigation? Please escort this suspect for interrogation.
The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man. to stage a reconstruction. I am sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Watson. Let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? 
One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise, yet. Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course.
I'm not saying. What am I doing here? How is he investing? And use us. My analysis. This is where I keep my archive. I can all my It seems that the garden was well maintained.
These boots don't match the footprints. These boots match the footprints exactly. These footprints appear to be quite large. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee.
Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Thank you, madam. Let's see what could be hidden here. Let us see what is in this box. bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him, not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors.
Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. <laughs> this man is a harpooner, and his initials are P.C., the same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? We've heard all about the gambling and arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me.
You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Ah, <laughs> I've had enough. You're too strong. Come back later, when you can use your arms again. <laughs> I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your...
That's the